This is code.org. I'm working on CS Discoveries, unit two of that, which is their web development unit, lesson 11, which is styling elements with CSS, and I'm on level nine, layout with CSS. Height. Find the property in the style sheet that controls the width and height of the image. Okay, so I need to find the style sheet over here. Well, that is going to be under style.css. Great. And then, oop, double clicked change uh so images look for the thing that controls images that will be the image tag change a width or height hmm there's the width all right well let's see what this does i'm going to delete this too whoa now it's really small because it's at 50 px what if i make this i don't know 500 wow okay change it to be well so it was originally at 250 i wonder maybe i want it at 300 Ooh. oh that's kind of big I can Let's do like 280. Yeah, that's a bit bigger than before, but not too big. Oh, and we control, and once it's to add height, create a new rule with height property to control the height of the image. Okay. Um, I don't know, 50 PX? Oh, that's all smushed and distorted. That's way too small. What if I do 150? Oh, I kind of like how it makes it a bit smaller there. Let's do 170 maybe? I like that a lot. Cool. Use the width property in the P set to set, ooh, we can use width for a paragraph. Yeah, our paragraphs do seem a bit big. So let's do width just to control the size. And I, let's say, I don't know, 90 PX for starters. Whoa, that's not, oh, and I wrote 80 anyways. That's way too small. 150, way too small. 250. Let's see what three looks like. Um, Yeah, I like 300 for the width of that. And notice too, this is kind of cool. Remember before, I'm gonna get rid of this to show you. Boop. Look how the blue stretches all the way across. Well now, we have set that our paragraphs are only going to be 300 pixels wide. So it also contains all that blue to directly behind the paragraphs. That looks really great. Let's keep going.